if you're watching this session, it's because it's uh, been directed to you as required reading before we start looking at uh, Blogger Talk in depth. So here's three tools that are going to help you uh, make sense of other people's web pages as well as your own. So to get started, the first feature is called View Page Source, and we can do that by looking at one of my uh, sites here. And all you do, and notice I'm using Chrome, Google's Chrome browser. So right click and you'll see a couple of options. One near the bottom is view page source. Click it once and the view source will open up inside another Chrome tab. Now what you've got here is the coding for the web page, which happens to be mikedownsmedia.com. So when we look, all I want you to look at at this stage is there's a bunch of code down there. Um, it tells you that I'm using a very old template, which is template style minima and it's updated by the blogger team. And then if you look at these numbers on the, the left-hand side here, you see it goes from one, two, three, four, five. When I scroll this right the way to the bottom, you can see there's a lot of code down there and it ends up on 651. So I, I may refer to that in future episodes and series of Blogger Talk. So that was the first thing out the way done. That's all I want to do. Don't want to do anything else apart from show it to you. Going back to the second one, and that is site colon which is really useful because you can get an idea of how much Google knows about a site immediately. So if you go to a brand new blog or a website, you think, well, how big is it? So all you do is in the top bar type site, colon, and hit enter. Then Google will have a look and report back to you. And in this case, tell us that there is only six results. Uh, this, this particular holding website of mine isn't very big, so it does list, and it's, it's not very big on purpose. So you've got Mike Downs Media as the homepage, and then you've got a couple of other bits and bobs down there to say, and that's it, six, done. All I want to show you. And the reason is, is because, I'll just go back on that one, we're getting into the, the meat of this video, and that is this thing called Inspect Element. So really, the best place to start if you've never heard of it before, um, Google developers have a lovely page here, which is developers.google.com forward slash Chrome developer tools. You can see it up, up the top here. And that is that it, it, it details everything to do with inspect element. And all I'm going to do is say it is here. I'll link you back to it and you can have a look through. And there's some really good diagrams in here about what it's all about. Now, you do not need to be a coder, a developer. All you need to do is follow the steps that I'm about to show you. I'm not a coder. I'm not a developer. Um, it's really interesting to read, though, when, you, when you're going down here. And I'll, I'll tell you how it looks in action. Okay, so, so what we need to do is go back and say this one was inspect element. So once again, as an example, we go here and we say here is my website, which has got a, a big picture at the top, a bit of text down here, a couple of um, buttons like a search bar. And I want to know um, that you can tell me what is on this page. And the way we do that, and the only way we can do it is a demonstration. And so I'm just uh, up here on the top left hand side. I'm going to right click, and the last option is inspect element. What opens up inside Chrome is something quite, quite magical, really, and quite interesting. And that is that if you hover over, say, this picture, you can see that there is a blue line at the bottom. So for an example, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say inspect the element. And the element that I'm looking at on this page is the graphic. The graphic at the top, which is 900 wide by 506 high. And that is the header on my web page. And if you want to see that in isolation, and this is a really good feeling, when you can go to someone else's website and like something, or think, oh, I wonder how they did that. And then you can have a look at the code, or even the image, and, and what it's about. Now, if you didn't know where this place was, you can go and hover, and you can see that there's also a pop-up. I'll just put it on the left-hand side of the castle itself that gives you 900 by 506. So then you can click once, and that will open up another part of inspecting the element. And we can then go into, say, for an example, images. And it will display all the images that happen to be on my website here. So that little cross there, no idea what it is. But just going on down arrow, I can go through and it's revealing. And there's, there's the one here of the, the element. It's saying that image is somewhere on that web page. And you can see that there is a uh, 
URL at the bottom of the, the blog spot image that's held there, there is a, you get a lot of that on Google pages. Um, in other words, like these PNGs of just like resources and files and things. So let me just look, go back on elements again, and then we can look along and out. I hold my hands up. I don't know what most of these things mean. I just try and get involved in the ones that I do want to know. So usually with me, I get a question and say, what would I like to know? Then I go and try and find the answer. And usually it's with inspect element. And I will be using this tool a lot if I'm looking um, at critiquing or analyzing other people's web page, hopefully for the art artistic uh, level of it. Not, not the coding, I'm not interested in coding. I need to do that when I actually have to. So for an example, if you wanted to know what typeface I've used on here, I'd go up to Mike Downs, and if you like, you can, just to be sure, oh, it's a title, isn't it? Let's have a look, see if I click it. Can't remember what I've done on my own blog. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, let's just try there where it says find me. So I'm going to highlight the, let's try to click one more. Yeah, highlight, find me. Right click, inspect the element, and then I look on the right hand side. And while this is in blue, then I'm going to do go along here and where it says font on the right hand side and it says trebuchet. Can you see that I've just highlighted it in blue on the right? So all you now know now is rather than guessing that I've happened to use a trebuchet font, I'm not sure quite why really, probably because I liked it a couple of years ago. Um, I've sort of moved on to another one that I might talk to you about at some point. So last thing here, and I can have a click around, is we've got a, let's have a look, I think that's pretty much it really. You can see that there's a bunch of words at the bottom here, don't really want to go into those, because if you want to find those, then you can go back and have a read yourself on Chrome Developers, and I'm sure you can come back and tell me something that, you know, which is pretty obvious that I don't know, because there's loads I don't know because um, I don't really want to know too much about code. I want to do the creative part to it. So in this session, we looked at view page source, which remember was, in summary, a right click and view page source. We looked at site, which remember was a top of the page, type the word site colon, hit enter. That tells us how many pages there are. And also we looked at inspect element which was right clicking again anywhere on the page and that gives us inspect element you can do a cross reference between the two of something like a combination between say viewing the page source and the element to, to find uh, certain things but i'll go into that in depth later on so this video was say required watching shall we say of my blogger talk course coming up so but in that time i'll just just whiz through stuff and they'll say if you haven't seen it go back and watch this video or of course go and read the fantastic page which is from chrome developers and it is something i would love to do it's loads of stuff down here okay thanks very much